Hey guys, we are going to start a new series on the channel. It This game is called Dead Frontier 2. It is an older game, I do believe, but, you know, it's the newest out of the Je Dead Frontier series, I guess. But, as you can see, we're at a little character customization selection option thing. And I'm basically just going to try to make this guy look a little bit my, like me. Um, no. Mm, very dark. Ooh. None of them really, I guess this is the closest to what I look like. Or the color of me. Uh, face. Uh, face B. Face C. Why do all these guys look... Oh. Okay, he he's probably the youngest of them all. Okay, this guy looked cool because, you know, he has that little scar right there. Okay, um, I am not, uh, bald, first of all. Medium, I, no, not really. It's not short like that either. Um. Yeah, I would say probably a medium then. It's probably, the, it's the closest to what they have. Um, my hair is actually a black but you know I will do brown instead thin I mean I, I just shaved so my, my face is fresh and clean but yeah um should I do a thin nah nope nope that looks terrible okay character name I will just do my channel Nix wait is our spaces allowed Nix gaming okay Okay, it's already in use. So, if we put an underscore. Okay, we can do that. So, as you can see, I'm level 1. And, you know, brand new, fresh. But I have played this game for a long time already. So, I already know the gist of the game and basically everything that I have to do. Um, I'm like level 8, I believe, on my other account. So, for starter, I would go for fast learner. No, I would do looter. Yeah. Okay, so when starting this game, first thing you want to do is avoid these people right there. That's number one. But you also are going to want to start looting. Because, okay, even especially if you get the looter skill. See, as you can see, I already have a superior 2x4, which is just a wood plank, but I have a damaged one, and as you can see, the superior is obviously superior, so it's going to be a lot better than this damaged one. So, there's that big person. She looking extra thick today. So, looking at this body, let's see if we get anything, we get a chocolate bar. And... Me personally, I always eat and drink whatever I find, you know, just to keep everything good, I guess. But we're just going to go ahead and go into the police department right now. And this is where everything gets started. Like you get quests and once you complete those quests, you get money. And with money, you can buy better things, I guess. I don't really know how else to put it, but you get this trader right here. You can go to the selling. And since I found this superior 2x4 earlier I can go ahead and just sell this sell it okay so if you sell it this will be a community sold item so like if I wanted to I could sell it for like that much money but no one's gonna buy it for that much but as if you were gonna sell it this is more of like a quick sell so as you can see I'm about to get six dollars right now and now I'm at fifty six dollars so it's a good start so far and these people are the people that you want to talk to to get all your quests so as you can see here I have to go to Coopertown and find evidence of someone find Nicola or like find evidence that they're dead or alive and collecting blood samples I really hate this mission <laughs> so I'm not even gonna do that one um, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to Coopertown and see if we can find Nicola or any type of evidence. I just remembered that the recommended level to be in Cooper Town is level 5, and since I'm only level 1, 
I am actually going to skip that mission and just start looting these other areas. So, that's what's up so far. I think I'm just going to start using this gun. You always have to be really... I don't know why this... <laughs> I love this screen shake. But you have to be very conservative when it comes to bullets because you can run out of bullets fast she's not even dead there we go yeah you can run out of bullets really fast and I know from experience so we get some shotgun shells or 20 gauge if you prefer so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip those zombies and search this guy what does he have for me a rusty key um so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of him real quick so let's go in here and see there might be a boss no but there's a there's a thick lady right there okay so I'm just gonna use the gun on these guys uh oh I forgot it doesn't automatically re reload last one yep okay so now I can go ahead and safely, safely search, but sometimes zombies do come through without you looking. So they can come by and just start eating you up. So if I were you, I would listen in. Go ahead and use that. I would listen in and make sure that no zombies sneak up behind you. Yep, I knew it. Sometimes they like to play dead. So always search the bodies too. That's another thing. I don't need to use that, so I can just take it. Oh yeah, and you do have an inventory space, so I have three items out of 22 I can hold in total. And ammo does count as holding space, so I can't have unlimited ammo, basically. Which, I guess, sucks a little bit, but I guess it's just to make the game fair. Okay, I can take on this girl. No, it's just her. Oh, okay. Well, she just tickled me a little bit. Okay. So. Let's see. You get tinged vegetables. Oh, yeah. And um, you guys probably noticed, but there are some perks that these weapons have. Like, since this is a superior 2x4, I have a minus 3% chance of not bleeding and then I get 2% sprint duration but that's a skill that I don't have yet my dude is thick and doesn't know how to run so since I do have shotgun shells I am gonna go to this trader and I'm actually gonna sell these I'm not actually going to scrap them I'm going to sell them because it gives you a much better price and as you can see here it says this is basically the recommended amount of uh, you should set the price but I usually like to go down because then that means I'll be at the top of the list and the amount of and I'd be going below the recommend the recommended amount of money so it's more likely that people will want to buy it for me instead of the others if that makes any sense so I just went ahead and sold that so I have this ID card that is wanted by Ruby, and Ruby's in Coopertown. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look for other missions in here, see if there's any other guys that are willing to give me a mission that's in here. So once I find a mission, I will be right back. And a way to know if someone has bought whatever you. Uh, started selling on the pr on the market then you go to your mailbox over here you can view the messages and as you can see someone actually just bought my uh, shells so if I were to go to this guy right now I'd go to selling and as you can see the bullets that I had in stock earlier are now gone and they are not in my inventory since I do only have a pistol or the pistol ammo that's what I'm gonna be looking for and mine is damaged and I don't want a damaged gun so I'm gonna go ahead and look for something like this and as you can see I have ninety seven dollars so I can go a little bit more expensive but as you can see it says the required level is level five and I'm only level one so I can only get this weapon 
but I will get the cheapest one, which is $7. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. All right, the transaction was made. I'm going to go to selling, and I'm going to sell my damaged gun and get basically all my money back for it. So let's see. Um, go to this and equipped. And then as you can see, I got a brand new gun. Perfect. Hey guys, apologies for the um, video ending here, but you know, I recorded like another half an hour, but the other half was corrupted somehow. I don't really know. It's been happening to me a lot recently, but I'm trying to, you know, figure it out, see what's going on. But I hope something like that doesn't keep happening because, you know, I did all these missions and all that. And I overall I thought it was pretty funny. Like, I had some pretty funny moments in there. And I do apologize if I sound dead in this video. I was just, I'm just really tired, you know. And I'm just trying to keep it down because, you know, I still have people in the house that have to hear me because I don't want to be loud and, you know, disrupt them and everything. So I'm just trying to be a little bit quiet and respectful for that, for them. But again, my apologies. So this will have to conclude this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to help me get to 100 subscribers. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.